hello guys if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you can get notified for my videos hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel and today's topic is the ease of pope and this is the second day we are doing the ease of pope introduction we have already done and uh, we are going to talk about the literary characteristics of the ease first so if we go through the four or five characteristics here the first one is the age of the prose and reason it is called as we know and uh, why it is called prose and the age of prose and reason we will come to that later so next one is the dominated uh, the genre was satire and third the classic is this is called classic is and in english literature if we talk about classics uh we we talk about the works by homer and virgil and augustus and dante uh next is will be the you know augustus is this is also called and some other are there literature of town so the dominated theme of the is was literature of the town so let's talk about all these things one by one keep on watching till the end this is the is from where we see the development of prose here so the first time prose dominated so before is of uh, pro we can see that clearly we we will see that uh, drama and uh, poetry poetry was dominating the you know the literature english literature pamphlets magazine newspaper these were the things which were helping in you know growing prose Uh, the graceful elegance of addison's essays the terse vigor of swift's satire this is a comment you can see uh, on the on this uh, characteristic the artistic finish of fielding's novel and the sonorous eloquence of gibbon's history and uh, burke's origins have no parallel of this age in other ages matthew arnold called it called it an age of prose so this can be a question in a uh, different examination that who called this is as an is of prose so it was matthew arnold in uh, literary and criticism videos we we will talk about the matthew arnold because he is uh, we can say uh, his masters of criticism are of importance to on, to know uh, satire most important literary characteristics were unfortunate union of uh, politics with literature as we know that uh, wicks and tory there were two groups which dominated these two two ages age of pope and then later age of transition as well so they are uh, you know their union with literature was not constructive but it was rather destructive in kind so destructive kind of criticism because wicks were writing satires to uh, uh to defame tory and tory were composing their whatever poetry and other things to defame wicks now classic is this is also called a classic is if in english we have uh, one side classics and other other side romantic people so classics were the people uh, or we can say are the people who usually stick to rules so the age is also called the classic age because uh, all the people were you know uh, keeping in mind these classic writers homer and virgil augustus and dante they were trying to copy them or uh, trying to have some standard in writing because of uh, you know following these writers so that's why these are called classic people or classic age as well or classic writers as well in 1706 welsh to pope he has written the best of all the modern poets in all language are those that have nearest copied all the ancient this is the concise principle of classicism if you don't understand classicism just try to understand this welsh was a writer so he wrote to pope that who are you know you know what is the best thing to do ki sabse jo best jo cheez hai wo kya hai 
तो उनके अकॉर्डिंग ये था कि अगर किसी को बेस्ट कुछ लिखना है तो उन्हें यू नो एंशंट जो राइटर्स है उन्हें कॉपी करना चाहिए लाइन फ्रॉम द एसे ऑन क्रिटिसिजम बाय पोप दोज रूल्स ऑफ ओल्ड डिस्कवर नॉट डिवाइज और आर नेचर स्टिल बट नेचर मैसेडाइज नेचर लाइक लिबर्टी इज बस रेस्टेंड बाय द सेम लॉज विच फर्स्ट हर सेल्फ ऑर्डेंट लियोहेंस फॉर एंशंट रूल और जस्ट स्ट्रीम to copy nature is to copy them means he is also valuing valuing he is giving a great value to the uh, ancient people because they thought that they were perfect people to follow literature of town literature was limited to upper circle of the city of london but in later like ye comparison hume pata chal jana chahiye ki is of pope mein jo literature hai wo limited to upper circle mein hai lekin agar hum next transition period mein aayenge नेक्स्ट वाली एज में तो आप देखेंगे कि वहां पर जो मिडिल एक मिडिल स्टेटा है सोसाइटी का उसमें भी लिटरेचर उतना ही फेमस होता जाता है और उसी के उसी का एक रीजन होता है कि नॉवल डेवलप होता है ऑलराइट सो दैट्स व्हाई आई आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट लिटरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द एज इज यू नो थिंग टू मस्ट नो इफ यू इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड लिटरेचर पोप स्टील बर्क ऑल डील विद दी अर्बन थीम्स ये सारे वो थे कि जिन्होंने अर्बन थीम्स को लेके लिखना शुरू किया था सो होपफुली यू अंडरस्टूड द लिटरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द एज वी विल डिस्कस नाउ अदर थिंग्स और द वर्क्स बाय यू नो पोप एंड अदर द एज ऑफ यू नो पोप एंड पोएट्री वी विल बी टॉकिंग इन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वीडियो uh you can check out for other other things uh, you know in description box and in comment box related to other things i am doing on my channel and uh, on other platforms okay bye bye take care see you in next video